Hey guys, so welcome back. I'm here with the second part of my tutorial for the Androgyny palette. I'm going to get right into it by priming my eyes with Max Paint Pot in the shade Paint Really. And I'm just going to apply that with my fingers to make sure that it is well blended and I get a nice thin, even layer. Now I'm going to go into the shade Safe Word out of the palette, which is a pretty nudish gray color. I really like this shade. So I'm just using it to set my base. Moving on to some color, I'm going to take the shade Charm on a MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to apply that into my crease. I didn't expect it to be as pigmented as it was, however I did build this color up really really nicely. You want to be patient um, because this eye look is going to involve a lot of, lot of blending and building colors. But I'm just applying that into my crease in my inner and outer corner. You don't have to be perfect with this color, um, just as long as it's well blended. To help blend out the orange, I'm just going to take a clean MAC 224 to blend out the edges. And once you've blended it out, you're going to go back with the MAC 217 in that charm shade and add some more. And then you're just going to go blend it out again. Like I said, this look involves a lot of blending and building. Now for my favorite shade, I'm going to be taking Fetish out of the palette, which is this beautiful like wine burgundy shade. It's really, really pretty. It's really, really pigmented. For some reason, um, the colors on camera, it doesn't look as, you know, vivid, but in person it was way more pigmented. But I'm applying that with a Crown C433 Pro Blending Fluff Brush. Whew, that was a lot to say, <laughs> but I'm going to be applying that right where I applied the charm shade but a little bit under it and I'm just going to go back and forth with the charm and fetish and a clean brush to make sure everything is blended and I get the desired pigmentation that I want. This color was a little tricky to blend out so what I did was I took the same brush that I applied with and flipped it over and kind of like used the clean side to help blend it. I got that trick from Crispy. Y'all need to watch her on YouTube. She's amazing! To help deepen up the look a little, I'm taking Dominatrix, which is a very pigmented deep chocolate shade. And I'm using a e.l.f. what is this? E.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush to apply that to my outer corner. And I'm actually blending it all the way over into my crease, into the inner corner, as you guys saw. And then I'm taking that uh, feta shade to blend that out. Once I applied all the colors, I went back into my paint pot and I'm actually carving out my crease. I'm going to be doing a half cut crease, so I'm carving it halfway and I'm using a MAC 212 brush. I don't suggest using this brush because it was a little hard to work with because it is shaped like a square. Um, I would recommend using a more rounded flat brush. So just like a standard concealer brush and I'm just blending out that product. And you want to make sure that you do this part carefully and be patient. You don't want to jack this part up because like seriously, it's crucial. <laughs> Once you cut the crease, I'm going to go back with that brown to blend out the edges. And then I'm going to set it with safe word because you don't want that paint pot to crease. And then we're going to do the other eye. I'm really proud of myself because this is my second time attempting to do a half cut crease and I ain't mad at it. <laughs> now I'm going to take Max Mix and Medium and I want to follow it with my finger. This is going to be a base for my shimmer which is frosting. I'm applying that with the MAC 239 flat brush. This shade is so pigmented. I suggest using a mixing medium so that way it can come out even more pigmented and create like a foil look. You can just go right over top of the paint pot, but I don't know how I feel about that yet. So you try it and let me know how it works out. Make sure you guys um, blend out the edges of that lid shade. You don't want it to be like a harsh line. Just take your time blending it and go back in with Dominatrix if you need to. So now we're basically done the top part of our eyes. I'm just going to clean up the fallout with a makeup remover and a cotton round. So I finished my face off camera, hope I ain't scare y'all, and I'm going into military which is that pretty green in the palette. Started off using one brush and then I didn't like it so I switched to a Real Techniques shading brush which is my favorite for the lower lash line. I'm just applying that all over my lash line like literally just smoking it out with that color. 
then on an elf smudge brush i took poison which is like the teal shade in the palette and i'm applying that right over top of the military shade and i'm just blending them all the, um all together i try my best to like incorporate all the colors in the look so i also use poison not poison i also use swallow over that combination too whenever i do like a palette for, for the first time i like to try to use all the colors and then of course I applied a white eye liner to my waterline. I think this is Max something. I don't know the name. I'll put it in the description box. <laughs> and then for lips, I'm using NYX's brown liner. I'm just applying that all over, filling my lips in as well. And then I also use Jeffree Star's uh, New Beach. I thought it would fit perfectly since this is Jeffree Star palette. After you apply the lipstick, make sure you go back with the liner because you do not want poofy lips, okay? So now that we don't look ratchet with the scarf anymore, <laughs> the look is complete. Although I'm not a professional makeup artist, I still hope you guys learned something. And also, please share and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!